did way better that time. Way better. I think I, I think I comboed the first 188. That went really good. That went really good. Hello everyone, welcome to Friday. I understand that it's probably not terribly entertaining from a viewer standpoint to watch me play DJ Simon's air over and over and over and over and over again. However, on one of the, the most recent vlogs that was talking about uh, DDR, I had explained a situation that I was having trouble with, with certain arrow patterns, which required me to basically like change how my brain worked. I quickly learned from a few helpful commenters, thank you, that the, the pattern I'm struggling with is something called a crossover. I had never heard that term before. I've never really been a part of like the DDR scene. Like I like to play, but I didn't really know any of like the lingo or the terms or anything, but apparently those are called crossovers. And uh, it's very typical for people to struggle with those. So uh, some folks gave me some very specific song recommendations. And Air was a really good one because Air is slow enough that I can get it, I can like start to pick up on it, and uh, it's easy enough that I can just beat it myself. Like it, even if I was, you know, not trying to learn this, if I was doing it my bad way, I could still get through the song. But I told myself when I started playing it today, I was like, I'm not gonna purposefully revert to the, I don't, the, the jig way of doing it where you're like, yeah, I'm going to try not to do that. So all of my scores are representative of me actually trying to put in the time to learn it and to try and focus on how to do it. So I have a long way to go, but uh, I get a B plus. I got 85%, which is really good. That's the best one I've had by far. I was getting, a little earlier, I was getting like into the 70%. And I was pretty happy with that, but then suddenly I comboed the first 188, and as far as I know, I did it all as you know intended. So I, it, it's starting to stick um, a little bit. So thank you all. Uh, I, I appreciate the uh, the the words of advice, the song recommendations, and uh, and Heaven Chai even recommended like, you know, you don't have to be playing the game. Like you can just you can just get on the pad and practice, and like that's a good point. That's a good point, but this was helpful. Um, this was a slow enough song that I could start to pick up some of it, and um, you know whether or not it's going to help me complete some other songs, whether or not it's going to help me finally get through uh, Saints Marching In without dying. Um, I don't know. Anyway, so how y'all doing? You good? It's been a good day, actually. Um, I told myself before I. Like whenever I woke up, I was I was working on stuff, and I was like, I have to release um, the uh, the April 6, twenty eighteen vlog before I move on. So I got that done, and uh, I've exercised. I'm gonna get a shower, and we're gonna work on dinner all before Breath of the Wild tonight. And uh, um, going through the twenty eighteen stuff has been you know wacky because it's it's old, and also it's it's from the the before times. Uh, so that's part of it. But the next one specifically is the meetup. And um, I, uh, I haven't been like, I don't want people to think I've been dreading it in the sense I've been dreading like seeing that footage. That's not it. I've been dreading it from the sense of like, it's a lot of footage um, because folks contributed footage. And uh, I know that that one's going to be, um, it's going gonna, it's gonna to take a little time to, to put that together. So. I'm gonna need a little more time on the next one, but after that, that's kind of like, I really have felt like that's kind of a mental roadblock for me. Once I get past that, we be just about done with PAX East, and then the rest of 2018 is, uh, you know, largely just road trips. So I'm really looking forward to getting past this, this little hump and then moving forward. So, things have been going pretty well. Feels good to slowly work on that, even if it is, you know, slowly. Okay, I am, I'm not actually that, hot and sweaty. I wasn't playing super hard songs. I played the same song over and over and over again. And then at some point I tried a different song that had that pattern in it, but it was a little faster. And I was like, eh, 
I'm not ready for that. I'll work my way up to that one, but I had to go back to air. But this was this was uh, this was good practice. So, thanks for the recommendation. A little bit later, and the stream's over. It went well. Um, I felt like we really got a lot done today, and then also we have a pretty clear view of like what we at least potentially can work on for several more weeks. I mean, there's there's a lot of stuff there. Um, however, when I was done with the stream, shut everything off, uh, turned off the computer, etc. And as I was going to shut off this light, I went to uh, touch the light, or I, I just touched the light without thinking, I don't know. This is metal, by the way. Anyway, um, there was static, and the light shut off. And I was like, oh god, no. There is, there is, there is so much static upstairs, it is insane. Like, it's in, it's all throughout the house. But upstairs is, is, seems particularly bad. And, um, anyone who tunes into Breakfast Stream probably knows that because the, uh, the Elgato, uh, stream deck, the little thing we hit buttons to, like, switch scenes and stuff when we're streaming, um, there's, we have to remember to touch something metal before we touch it, or it zaps it consistently. 100% of the time if we're up here. Um, and it's really bad because then it like the colors invert or it'll turn off or turn back on. So like there's clearly like big problems up here with static. And um, I'm just really hoping, I'm really hoping that I didn't fry this light. Really hoping I didn't fry this light. I might have. I might have. And the thing that sucks is that, again, um, you know, this part is metal, um, but that, that may not have mattered because I guess, I don't know what, I guess I went, I think this, how I normally shut it off because it's hard to just like push it is I normally grab part of it as like leverage for hitting the button. And when I touched it, it zapped it. And the board that controls the, the whole panel is, you know, through there. And that may, maybe it did it. I don't know. For now, I've unplugged it both from the wall and then on the panel itself. And I'll just try it tomorrow and see if it's if it works or if it's dead. Um, that being said, I think, I think this panel is the oldest panel we have. Um, a long time ago, when we lived at the other house, we had one light that sat above the TV in the office and we used, and we would turn that on for, you know, Q and A's and, and mail and things like that. Actually, no, we did mail in the living room. So it was only for Q and A's. That's really the only time we used it. Um, we needed two lights, but we only had one. So we had, we used the one light and I think this actually might be that light. So if it is dead, I will come to terms with it. Um, but like, do I want it to be dead? No, it's very inconvenient. It's extremely inconvenient because we don't have like spare lights. The only real solution is, I mean, to order something like immediately if we find out it's dead. And then in the meantime, for streams, um, haul Mal's light up here, use one of hers. And then that's really inconvenient for her because she can't paint while we're using the light. So it's not a good situation. Crossing my fingers that tomorrow it'll work just fine. We'll find out. Anyway, our dinner was uh, leftover um, shrimp, shrimp and potatoes. And potatoes. Uh, smaller servings than what we had yesterday. So we're a little hungry after the stream. So we're having um, more of the meat and cheese that we received for Christmas. And uh, this one's... I like this one. We've had, the, we've had the meat a few times. I don't know if we talked about it specifically, but this is... Um, Oh lord. Soprasita? Soprasada? Yeah, that's it. I think it's the pronunciation. It's really good. Mal doesn't care for it that much. I think it's delicious. This, however, is a new cheese. This is, this um, is um, a goat cheese. It's an herbed goat cheese. I am typically not hot on that. Give me a... There's a small piece here. You want a cracker? Yeah. Yeah. It's soft. It's a soft cheese, so that's why I put the spoon here so you could scoop it. Oh. Here. Well, you've scooped me off a piece of that goat goat cheese. It's, you know, I'm sure it's fine. 
I think I like it more now than I did 10 years ago. I mean, it's herbed. You're tasting a lot of those. That's probably helping. Yeah. It's important to come back to foods you don't like. Um, I've always loved cheese, but goat cheese, it's a like a texture thing. It was too soft or something, but I, I think it's I think it's all right. Well, this is right out of the fridge, so eat it before it gets too soft. Okay. This whole thing, I think, was a Christmas gift, wasn't it? Because weren't the crackers the also? Crackers were the cute. crackers were a gift. Yeah, my mom gave us cheese and meats and crackers for Christmas, and it was really sweet because this is all like delicious and really way a really great way to end the the day. And also with you, bud, you're always a great way to end the day, huh? You, you smell meats. You smell meats. Your breath stink. <laughs> it's okay, you're a cat. That's it for today. Thank you so much for watching. That's my cracker. You have my cracker. I've lost my train of thought. Um, That's it for today. Yeah. Thank you for watching, and let's meet back tomorrow, shall we? He's in his happy, he's in his happy place.